Despite its size and strength, the sun will not last forever. The sun is a powerful energy source, but it also has a dangerous side. It's a star, so it's ticking time bomb. After that the sun will expand, becoming a red giant. The sun will eventually shrink down to become a white dwarf, a small, dying star that will cool down for several billion years. Unfortunately, we will all be long gone by the time any of that happens, but it's still interesting to imagine what it would be like to see the sun implode. A supernova is the most powerful type of star explosion. The sound and light show may be impressive, but when a supernova happens, the star that explodes is so small and faint that it's virtually invisible to the human eye. For Earth to be completely safe from a supernova, we'd need to be at least 50 to 100 light years away. The Earth would be safe from a supernova occurring if the sun were to explode tomorrow, but the good news is that the shock wave from such an event would not be strong enough to destroy the entire Earth. Only the side facing the sun would boil by instantly. A much hotter sun would cause the Earth to experience an increase in temperature of 15 times hotter than the sun's surface temperature. This would effectively mean that the Earth would become a very hot place, with very harsh and extreme conditions. If the Earth were to float off unsupported by the sun's mass, the remaining inhabitants would likely find it difficult to survive. There is a chance that our planet could become a permanent resident of a star that provides the same level of light and warmth as our sun. However, this would happen some time in the future, and by the time it occurs, most of us would be long gone. If we knew in advance that our sun was going to die, we could buy ourselves up to 1,000 years of life, provided we had the resources to sustain ourselves for that long. There is a constant temperature of 17 degrees below the ground, so if we had enough time to prepare, this would allow civilization to continue living underground in a few large bunkers. Within a week after the explosion, the surface temperature on Earth would drop to minus 18 degrees within a year, temperatures would plummet to about minus 73 degrees. To be saved by some miracle, any survivors will have to move deep into the Earth, where it will be warmer than on the surface. But it's unlikely that under such conditions we'll be able to find food and other necessities to last for very long. The oceans will be frozen from the surface down by then, and the atmosphere will be frozen, leaving anything on the surface open to cosmic radiation and media impacts. Assuming the sun were to suddenly blow up, it wouldn't happen overnight. It would take billions of years for the sun to completely die, and during that time, it would experience various stages. In the meantime, we'll be hoping that by then, humans have progressed sufficiently to live on other planets. The sun will continue to get hotter and brighter, which will cause it to lose its outer layers. This will create new stars and planets, just like the big fireball that created Earth. Now, figuratively speaking, our star is merely smoldering, supporting the necessary conditions for life on Earth. But if its temperature exceeds a certain point, then the whole giant barrel of hydrogen will explode. Our galaxy may look different billions of years from now due to the possibility of new life forming. However, it is especially difficult to predict what our solar system may look like without the great golden anchor that keeps us all together. In the distant future, the sun will expand and then contract, possibly leaving room for a new beginning. If humanity still exists at that point, it might be living on a space station. This is a story for another time.